Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a quick Divi Pro tip and it's kind of a fix because when you're using the Divi Theme Builder, which by the way we love and is awesome, there's sometimes some problems with the width of the content because what happens is you have the section and rows and everything on the actual page and they come with padding and maybe a 80% width. So that width is inside the post content module and it's it's extra spacing there when you're using the theme builder. Um, it's kind of annoying that this happens, but but yet it's actually it makes sense. It's logical why it happens, but I'm going to show you how to prevent that. All right, let's get started. So we absolutely love the Divi theme builder. It is amazing. You can do so much with the templates. If you're not using it, definitely look into it. Definitely start looking into the ways that it can save you so much time, it's just incredible. I mean, I don't even know how we survived without it before it. Um, so if you're using the Divi Theme Builder, you may have noticed an issue. It, it's not a bug, it actually makes sense. It's not really an actual, like, something that's wrong with Divi. Um, but it's kind of something that, yeah, there is a solution to it, but this solution that I'm going to give you just makes it so much easier. Um, it's kind of once and done, set and forget type of thing. So yeah, the best way to show you is just to show you. Um, right here I have a regular generic blog post. Um, this is just totally default. There's just dummy content here, okay? Now, if I was going to use the Divi Builder with the Divi Theme Builder, that's when we have a problem. So if I was just using, right now I'm using the WordPress default builder, so Gutenberg, I guess, or whatever it is. Whether it's Gutenberg or the Classic, it doesn't matter. There's no issue. But when you have the Divi Builder enabled, that's when we have the issue. So let's say I start to build a theme builder template. So I go here, I'll make one for all posts and create that template. And then I build the custom body. And then it's really up to you what you put in here. But what I'll do is I'll add an image here to give you an example of what's possible. Get rid of that and then add the featured image automatically and then I like to add like the title or something so if I add text and then um, basically well yeah let's use dynamic content for this too um, and then my little trick is which I should make a separate one on that but adding the little um, HTML h1's there makes that an h1 and then when you add the post content module so that's really the one that is the issue post content so that pulls in all of the content on the post or the page so that's a really nice module it's great you know it works good it, in other words so this will pull in the image this will pull in the title and this will pull in all of the content so if i save this this is the template again that's going to apply to all of our blog posts on this site all right so i'll just go here refresh the page and so now it's just pulling in the featured image, the title, and then the content. So there's no issue at all here. Now, the only time it comes up is when we use the Divi Builder. So if I'm just gonna go ahead and enable the Divi Builder here. I'll just use the existing content. And so you can see right away that the, the content here is just not as wide as the image and the title here. But you can see the blue section is. So that's, you know, you're like, okay, that's good. The reason is because this green row here has a specific width set to it by default. And this is just how it is. So it's 80% and 1080px. So um, so basically I could go in here and I could change this to 100%. You know, I could change that right there. And just like that, the issue is solved, right? And that works. That's a, that's a fine solution if you want to go in there every single time on every single post, on every single page, over and over and over again. That would work. You could do that. But why not make it simpler? So basically, I am going to undo that. Let's just go ahead and reset that width. Okay, so now it's back to the 80%. And I'm just going to save this, and we're going to exit, and then I'm going to show you the really quick solution. Basically, down here, I have a very simple snippet of CSS. But it's very important to use this one because um, it's so precise. It, it's um, the specificity of it is targeting the exact row that you need. So basically, 
in this snippet, it's it's using the um, basically it's using the theme builder selectors. Okay, so it's targeting rows that are in the the post content module in the theme builder. Let me say that again. So it's targeting the row, any row that's in the post content module in the theme builder. Okay. So you wouldn't want to just put ETPB row because then every row on your site would get this. So all I have to do is go back here and I could go, let's go, let's put it in theme options. So Divi theme options and then scroll down. You're under the general tab, scroll down and whatever CSS is in here, it doesn't matter because that's not relevant to our tutorial. Just paste it there. Now, if you do have a, a child theme, you can put it in the style.css file, but for now, um, this would work fine. Save your changes. Now let's go ahead and just refresh this page. This is a blog post again. So we refresh the page and just like that, the solution worked. The problem is solved. It's automatically the full width. So now I could go and do this to another post, another page, whatever. Anytime I have a row inside of the theme builder template using that post content module, now it's going to automatically be full width. So that's really as simple as it is. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you're putting that to good use. If you want to learn more about the theme builder, we do have a course. It's called the Divi theme builder course. It's, I call it a mini course cause it's like, I think it's an hour and a half long. It's $20. It covers all of the templates in the theme builder. Definitely go check that out. If you have been putting off learning the theme builder or you're, you're intimidated by it or, you know, anything like that. So here you can see, you know, a little bit of what it's about. You can read the reviews. Basically, if you are, have not been using the theme builder yet, this is going to be one of those like amazing, you know, the best hour and a half of your time. Right. And it's going to be like what they call an investment. You give a little and you get a lot. Um, so here it talks about each of the lessons. Um, one and a half hours, $20 total value unlimited. It really is because once you start using this, it's like, I just, I just cannot believe it. Um, how much I use it. It's so powerful and incredible. And then be sure to read these reviews. Pretty amazing. It's so cool hearing from people and I'm not trying to upsell you on everything. I'm just, if you're using the theme builder or if you're not, and you're looking at this tutorial, it's, it's relevant. So, um, I, I love that people are learning and I, you know, I try to price my stuff very affordably because, you know, it took a lot of time to make, but I, you know, I got to make a living for my wife and daughter, but, um, yeah, I don't want to be pushy either, but basically it's there. If you're curious, the theme builder is so amazing. Definitely start using it and hopefully you can put this fix to practice on all of your sites where you're using it. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed that quick tip there on how to fix that, the post content content width there. Um, if you've enjoyed that, if you want to see more tips and tutorials and fixes or everything, that's what we do here. So this is what you'll get if you subscribe. There you go. Now you know. We'll see you all in the next video.